In those desperate days of the early 40s, as America fought to stop the advance of Japanese Imperial forces, much of the task fell to the U.S. Marine Corps. In the South Pacific, at places like Guadalcanal and the Solomon Islands, Marine air units, operating practically on the front lines, supported Army and Marine ground units involved in the bitter struggle. They flew aircraft like the Pratt & Whitney powered Douglas SBD Dauntless and Vought F4U Corsair. On the island of Vela La Vela in the Solomons, one Corsair unit became a special legend. No mean feat in a service that is a legend itself. BMF 214, the Black Sheep Squadron, commanded by Major Gregory Pappy Boyington, ran up an impressive record and became a symbol of American determination. And Pratt & Whitney was a part of that legend. Six decades later, the Marines still like to carry their close air support in their hip pocket. And the Black Sheep, now designated VMA-214, are still an active squadron. On May 31st, 2002, Harriers from VMA-214 visited Pratt & Whitney's East Hartford facility as the prelude to a JSF all-hands meeting. Employees got to see these very capable aircraft firsthand and to contemplate the challenge and responsibilities they face in replacing them with the next generation marine fighter. Connecticut has long uh, been known as the arsenal for democracy uh, from our revolution uh, to the present day. And in as much as we are a nation at war today, uh, the continued efforts on behalf of the employees of Pratt and Whitney who, as my dad would fondly say, have always kept the eagle flying, are of critical importance uh, to the nation's defense and its continued uh, security. Uh, good to be home. We are very proud to have the United States Marine as a major customer on this program. We look forward to powering an outstanding weapon system that gives you new capabilities in the air and new levels of reliability in service. We also look forward to building an outstanding relationship with the Marines that will grow even stronger in the years to come. Hold up, hold up. The F-35, as we call it, is made for Marines. I'm just telling the family here at Pratt & Whitney, the Marine Corps is going to buy 609 of these airplanes. And Lord willing, we're going to buy all, all Stovall JSF. You proved in the fly-offs of these airplanes that you can build a Stovall, JS, a Stovall engine. You proved that to us. And I remember at that time I was a deputy at Marine Aviation. And I sat there and I watched both companies as they worked their way through the, uh, the uh, fly-offs. And the word came back when your airplane actually took off in the vertical takeoff mode with your engine in it. The word came back and it said, that engine's got so much power it can lift the corner of a hangar. And I'll tell you, that's exactly the reputation that your engine uh, and the lift fan associated with it enjoys back in Washington. So you've done it. I'm proud of you. We're buying that airplane. It is a Marine airplane. And, uh, and just as you saw, I think it's very fortuitous today that, that the uh, CEO of the Black Sheep came in with his uh, two Harriers here and another one at the other airport to show you that airplane, those airplanes. That was the father of the Stovall. That is the airplane that has introduced Stovall uh, warfighting to, to American forces. You are going to take that with your airplane and your engine to greater and newer heights. It absolutely is the way of the future. Tom Farmer, welcome to Connecticut. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir.
The general has described it for us. It's a team event. They're counting on each other. They're also counting on us. They're counting on us to get that product out there and get it right. Uh, the jets that flew in here are very capable aircraft. These members of the Marine Corps are counting on a better product to come down the line. And uh, we dedicate ourselves to that. We dedicate ourselves to supporting you in that endeavor and giving you the best product we can, sir. So thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. If we do indeed dedicate ourselves to providing the best product possible, if we do our jobs right and well, if we pay due respect to these legendary units, we too may once again become a part of the legend.